So we play as FBI agent Antarva. Oh, right. there you go. I am the FBI. What's up guys, John here from the Killer Bits, and today we are taking a look at Virginia. This is the demo that came out, I think, yesterday, day before. It's very, very recent, but this is a game that's been in development for a while now. Uh, one of those kind of indie games that a lot of people have been interested in, but don't know too much about. And I, as such, I'm going in blind. I've not, I normally do kind of a quick test to see if stuff records and that, but... I am going in blind on this one because as far as I know this is very very kind of narrative driven but without any dialogue. It's a it's a weird one. We'll go in, we'll we'll find out what it's like together. It's being developed by Variable State. And okay, let's have a look. Um it's currently running at 30 frames, but what I saw is we can actually change frame rate in Image, maybe. Yes, frame rate currently plays at 30, but you, uh, Virginia has been made to play at 30 frames per second. We recommend you play at 30 frames per second to experience the game as intended. Uh, so we can do 30, 60, or unlimited. I will play at 30 just so we get the intended experience high low medium i think based on that it probably is unity i'll have to check controls what else we got uh the game is coming to ps4 xbox one and pc obviously i'm playing on pc at the moment so we've got keyboard and mouse i would imagine we've got gamepad controls as well yeah so it has got gamepad controls No, we're not going to invert general. Was there anything there? Okay, well, I'll put subtitles on uh, for you guys because, as I said, there's no dialogue as I that I know of. I think it's all about kind of the atmosphere. It's narrative in other sense. But as I said, this is completely blind for me. So let, let's let's go in. So as I said, it's being developed by Variable State and is being published by 505 Games. 505, you may know more as the publisher for stuff like Payday and that, but they are also the guys that help publish Tale of Two Sons, Brothers Tale of Two Sons. So this is very much in their kind of wheelhouse of kind of innovative, kind of narrative-driven indies. And I think we're just gonna have to go in now, aren't we? Welcome to Kingdom. So we play as FBI agent Antarva. Oh, oh, there you go. I am the FBI. Uh, and it's all done. Oh, can we move? Yes, we can move. As I said, it's all. Uh, so this is Sheriff Taft. State Trooper. This is our partner. This is, uh, if I read it right, this is um, Marie Halpervan. And obviously, FBI agents, State Troopers, we've got a missing kid. We've been brought in to investigate the disappearance of Lucas Fairfax. And... I'm guessing that's Lucas. Also, the, the vicar isn't here just to comfort the mother. It's the vic this is the vicar's house. Okay. Uh. Okay, take your hand off your gun. I'm, the, I'm with the FBI. Okay, we're not going to go out yet. I reckon I've got to go and find the kid's bedroom, haven't I?
for it being, you know, geared towards playing at 30 FPS, it's a, a, a little odd, kind of the, the, the stuttering and jerkiness of it. It may be better at 60 FPS, I don't know. But as I said, I'm sticking with 30 because that's what the developers have pitched it as. They've, they've pitched it as a very kind of... Um, it's cut together like a TV show. So obviously, FBI investigating disappearance and that. You've got that kind of uh, Twin Peaks vibe about it all. They said the influences are stuff like Twin Peaks and um, we got a hidden panel. Is he hiding stuff? What's this? Oh, it's his dark room. Okay. Mother. Uh, oh, oh, oh! Is the mother having an affair with the with the the sheriff? Maybe. Ooh. Well, this water tower keeps showing up. Uh, anything else in here? Oh. So yeah, that you you immediately you think small town America, FBI. It is that kind of Twin Peaks thing. <laughs> and there's a buffalo in the middle of the road, right? <laughs> As you see with the transition there, obviously stuff like the fact that we've got these kind of black bars and that it is. It is, they, they are pitching it almost like you experience as an interactive TV show or film. It's got that, I mean, um, the the early uh, kind of footage and images I saw of it, it was a lot more kind of saturated. They've, gone, they've kind of toned down the saturation. It's still got this kind of low poly kind of look. Can we get out? What about me? Um, can I get out the car? Big Rico, he goes. Okay. I presume this is our partner's car. Um, and we're learning something about her. She she's got a takeout menu in her. I'll close that up. Right, we have a nose around the rest of the car. That's what's in the glove compartment. There we go. So this is where we learn about our partner. Uh, Ortego. Has she got a um, married name, or is it distant pop music? kids these days no respect for the law okay um oh, oh, that, was, that was a abrupt transition oh. is this break where we get to see the file okay let's have a look So, as I said, I think the, the developers are pitching this as quite a very atmospheric in that. I mean, even down to the fact that, obviously, we've got no dialogue in that, but stuff like um, all the music in that is, uh, what I read, is being done by the Prague Philharmonic. Uh, so, we've got obvious nerdy kid type thing. Is that the water tower? He thinks it's aliens. Right. We had a slender man in a cave. Uh, 
Okay. Um, oh, we got control again. We have, we have got control again. Can't do anything. Do we? Can we leave? Fallen asleep, and I have an out of body experience. Possibly. Okay. Oh no. Yes, I, I'm dreaming. Okay. So, Susan. Uh, so, we're obviously at the kid's house, but it's. Okay, this is getting already, this is getting Twin Peaks trippy type thing. Right, I've got to go try and find the uh, backwards talking dwarf, haven't I? Okay, what's dad doing? Can we go in the bathroom? Okay, I, I'm, I'm starting to get intrigued now. Um, I do like that kind of the, the colour palette. The, who are you? You're a new character. Okay. Evidently, I had too much cheese before. <laughs> I, I I must have had too much cheese before I went to bed. That, um, this FBI agent's been dropping acid. Got a feeling this is going to be back in Washington. So, is that the guy in the car we saw? A second, can we? Can we run? No, there's no run, run button. You always have to go backwards in the video, just in case. I don't think we're going to be able to get out. No. It's not highlighting. So yeah, um, this game's been in development a good few years, and the early stuff I saw, it was a lot more saturated, and they've gone for a kind of slightly moodier look now. Um. Let's go, go and meet our partner. Obviously, this first meeting is this. Uh, there's no I want to believe poster on the wall. This is obviously um, the X Files influence, the, the basement office of veteran investigator Maria Halperin. I think that's probably how you pronounce it. Will we interact with anything? Anything in our drawers? No, no. Slide projector. Oh, yep. Yeah. Oh, there was something. There we go. She's not happy with us. Yeah, okay, let's leave. Okay. It is starting to build up some atmosphere. It is... It may be a little arty, um, but that's what you put. Have we suddenly uh, gone into Firewatch now? Ooh, we have got a bit of a stutter and low frame rate. Distant bird call. So, uh, 
frame rate isn't that consistent for it being at 30, but this is just a demo. We still don't know uh, how much improvement it's going to be before it actually comes out. It's, it's scheduled to come out 22nd of September. So they've still got about a month's worth of work left to do on it. Ooh. This really is uh, Firewatch, isn't it? Spoilers. Okay. There was something interactive close by because that only activates. There's a little dot thing going. Is it around here? Okay, let's. Ah, oh, it was just. So obviously, there's bird smugglers. Okay, don't ask me what type of bird this is, but it's obviously in the uh, all the promo art and that. This is where it shits on a hand. Oh, okay. This is where we wake up at the hospital. Okay, so that was it. Oh, right. Okay, so I don't know. I, I, I'm, I'm intrigued. I really am intrigued. So as we can see here, striking painterly art style steeped in the magic of small town America and vibrant Virginia countryside. Dreamlike journey punctuated by intense drama populated by a memorable cast of curious characters. An original detective noir story in the tradition of Twin Peaks, Fargo and True Detectives. And cinematic editing that immerses players in a story that could be told in the style of TV or film. So yeah, I'm intrigued. It is quite pretty. Uh, it's it's nice to see people trying to do something different, especially kind of the narrative type thing. I mean, stuff like Firewatch and that is fantastic. The you you do kind of build up the characters even though you don't see the main characters. Uh, so this is doing something different. We're being introduced to this whole host of characters but we don't actually hear them speak so we have to kind of interpret their kind of moods and things like that but yeah this has been virginia i'm going to keep an eye on it obviously it comes out 22nd of september there on pc xbox one and ps4 if you want to know more information about it i will leave a link down in the description below and if you want to get in touch with us you can do it in the comments or on any of the social medias at the killer bits and if you want to help support the show, why not head over to Patreon and drop us a few dollars over at patreon.com forward slash the killer bits. I'd be John, and I will catch you next time. Bye.